marrying stepsister. Been through the same. All right. Billy No Shoulders. I like that one. By the way, Billy No Shoulders is up to fucking three pounders, 11 reps, no pain. No pain whatsoever. I'm cruising along here. I figure once I just need to uh, just keep doing this, get up to about 10, 11, 12 pounds, and it's going to be pull-up time again for me. Um, all right, if I could just somehow get to a lat pull-down machine somewhere during this fucking pandemic. Billy No Shoulders, you had a listener email in on Monday the 19th about a guy um, about to marry his stepsister. This also happened to me when I was 20. Jesus Christ, who knew that this was like a fucking thing? I've been going out with my high school girlfriend for a few years. One day her dad had dropped off, had dropped her off at my mom's house. Wait. Okay, so just to refresh uh, people who didn't listen to the last podcast, this guy was dating this chick, and his dad ended up marrying his girlfriend's mother. They were both single, obviously. And they hit it off, and they got married while he was still dating this chick. So his girlfriend then became legally his stepsister. Um, Okay, so this person saying this also happened to me. One day, her dad had dropped dropped her off at my mom's house where I was living at the time. No issues with this, or so I thought. Over the next few weeks, he started to drop her off more and more. Being young and ignorant, I didn't think anything of it until the day came when they, my mom and her dad, sat my girlfriend and I down to tell us they were now an item and that he would be moving in. Oh, my God. To say that my mom is a selfish cunt would be an understatement. Every one of her friends, her family, and even my dad, her ex-husband, tried to tell her this was a fucked-up situation, but she was having none of it. No more than a month of him moving in, they broke the news to us that they were getting married. Imagine marrying a guy you've known for the best part of three months. You can see how this is going to end. Well, it seemed to work back in the day, but then again, people just didn't believe in divorce. Um, Anyways, he put the S on it. Thank you. Anyway, my girlfriend and I broke up because of this situation. Then things became more fucked up when my now ex-girlfriend's mother kicked her out of the house And guess where she had to come and live? You guessed it, with us. Now I'm getting confused. I told my mom that I wouldn't be going to the wedding and that this entire situation was going to take a toll on my relationship with her. To which she replied, if you don't like it, go and live with your dad. So I did. My mom and her new husband-to-be went and bought a house together and got married. I I stood my ground and didn't go to the wedding Fuck them. The marriage lasted two months. Wow. I'm now 29 and haven't had a relationship with my mom since. Fuck her. Anyways, hope you and the family stay safe. Stop blowing out your shoulders, lifting up a pint of water, you bald pussy. Uh, Thanks and get fucked. Um, This person's a fellow private pilot and a drummer. Drum lover from Scotland. All right. Yeah, fucking drum loving cunt. Um... Well, she is your mother, so someday, someday you're going to have to patch it up. But, uh, wow. What a whirlwind of shit that was. And the fact that it just lasted. I got to commend you for not just showing up being like, hey, what did I say? I, dude, I called it and giving her all kinds of shit. Um, you know, at some point, you just have to understand that your parents are human you know what? That doesn't work with this. Yeah, you, yeah, you got a nut job for a mom. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, but she is your mom, so at some point, you know, if you don't like it, go live with your dad. Wow. Wow. I, I, I my advice to you, I would just, I would try to find the humor in it, and I would just, I wouldn't let it go for a long time. But I wouldn't be nasty about it. I would just be making jokes. Just be like, hey, mom, you know, I uh, I got a new job. Do you want to come down and start fucking my boss and maybe marry him? 
and then two two days later divorce him. <laughs> I don't know. I would just do that. I mean, what else can you do? Um, but I will tell you this: don't fucking turn to alcohol to fucking help it. All right, because that'll be a whole other problem, and you'll end up having a two-month marriage also. <laughs>